You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's the game of Bambaleo from Zock. And uh, the cover of the game, you know, very simplistic, but looks like a very challenging game just by looking at it because we're tilting and teetering on this platform here with a what looks to be a ball and a uh, wood plate. So let's check it around here and see what we can read off the back. Let me go to this section down here, which is what I could read. And I'll try to leave it all there so everybody who can read these other languages might be able to enlarge it here. So it's, Bambaleo is a game of skill for all experts on gravity and those who want to become one. A flat disc is balanced on the top of a column and laden with about 25 wooden pieces. Players take turns to remove pieces from the disc, and in accordance with the laws of gravity, Bambaleo leans, leans sideways in an incredible manner. Bambaleo is an upending challenge for the whole family, a pleasure to both play and watch. So you're getting one wooden disc, 25 wooden pieces, one wooden column, one cork ball, one set of game rules. All right. Not much more I can figure out there. Let me uh, get inside the box so we can see it all together here. All right. So you are getting the instructions in this sheet. Not sure what this is. So I'll just leave that off to the side. Here is the disc, and it's got a rough surface on it. It's not smooth. And then here's the pieces, all right. Here's your center post, and one ball, which is cork. Well, let's get the pieces out here. Let me uh, move the box. All right, so let's just dump out the black ones. And take a look at them. I just want to look at all the pieces so I kind of study them here. We can kind of see what comes with the set. And those look the same. Circles, I'm just matching up what appear to be squares or rectangle. Circle, circle, doubles, this odd shape. And then this larger circle. Okay, and then uh, let's look at the red ones. So you have these cones. Cone. Everything is nicely sanded. And it's kind of like a flat finish. Okay, these look the same. These look slightly different. I don't know if you can see the difference in the section there. And then this is the next one that's just a little bit smaller than those. See all that? This cone, this cone is a little bit larger. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer and change the angle so we can look at them from another direction. So hang on. Here's another look at the pieces so you can kind of get an idea. Now you can see better how these graduate up. And uh, same with the uh, circles and peg looking pieces and the squares. See the squares? How, they variation, how the variation is on those. All right, so basically let's... Uh, Go over the directions real quick. Let's move this out of the way. We're not ready to play yet. We just got a good look at the board and that. Let's just take a quick look. Here we go. Here is our English version. So uh, got the pieces. Idea the, the idea of the game is to remove wooden pieces from the plate resting on a cork ball without causing the plate to slip and fall. The player who collects the most pieces wins. So that's the basic uh, rule there. Preparation. The players place the wooden piece on the plate in any desired combination. Pieces may be stacked on top of each other. It is probably better not to put pieces right at the center of the plate since they are a bit too easy to remove. Then you place the cork ball into the hollow in the base. Then one player takes the plate and places it on top of the ball. Done carefully, this is nowhere near as difficult as it looks, and after a couple of tries, you'll easily get the hang of it. It is, easy, 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 it is even easier to balance the plate if you slide the wooden pieces gently around until they are roughly balanced around the plate. Okay course of the game. The play proceeds clockwise. The player with the shakiest hand starts. He now attempts to remove a piece from the wooden plate without touching the plate itself. If the player wishes, he may attempt to remove two pieces on top of each other in one go. He needs to declare he is going for this move. The pieces should be removed very carefully or the plate will tip and the pieces fall off. A player has only one go before the next player takes his turn. 
The player places the removed pieces in front of him. This will be counted at the end. So you're counting the pieces you're taking off. In case of a failed attempt, if a player has to break off his attempt, the, place, the plate will obviously tip over. He can replace the piece on the plate and give up one of the pieces that he already has taken. He has already taken, placing it next to the base. Then the next player has his turn. If pieces fall off the plate or the plate tips over, the round is over. So you can pass. If a player doesn't think that he can safely remove a piece, he may pass. He must then give a piece to the next player that successfully removes a piece. If several players have passed, they must all give a piece to the next successful player. If all the players pass in succession, the round is over. All right. End of the round. The round is over if the plate tips. Uh, over or a piece falls from it. All the players have passed in succession. All players, all pieces have been removed from the plate. Once the round's over, the players record their scores. So there's the scoring. How to win the game. The uh, game is up to 20 points. I'll let you read the rest of that. And then the variance there, you can pause and enlarge that video if you want to read that because I just want to do some balancing act here. So let me get this in here and just mix them up. It doesn't say that they have to be in any direction either so if you want to lay them flat or tall I could say you can stack so let me just mix these all up so let's do some let's do one crazy stacking let's put this on this and keep them out of the center I guess I can visually at least try to balance some large in all directions but who knows what's going to happen when you try to balance right okay so the center is pretty open now Okay, so now I need to balance this, so give me a chance here to move this in. And I'm assuming this is a, might take me a second or two here. Pretty good for my first balance, huh? So, just in case this decides to fall, I am going to uh, start. So it looks like leaning this way, it almost looks like then it's going to have to take a weight off of this side maybe to lift this back up. So let's just, so you think that this side is heavy. Let me see if I can take one of these easier ones off first. Okay. Look at that. Now if I lift it off here, that means that's going to be lighter. This is kind of weighing it down. So I'm going to pull one off of this side. To balance it a little bit more. I think we're going good here. Now, if I pull one of these off of this side, it's going to come down more. But let me just do, I'm calling a double. I'm going to call a double. Okay, I feel now that I don't want to lift that. So my attempt is in vain. So let me uh, pull one off of this side. Now, of course, I'm usually going to be playing this with other people, right? So that worked. Now... To bring it back this way because it seems like weight too much weight not enough weight so let me pull one off of this area here which should be safe all right i'm still going here you know i guess you could play this game all alone like i am now so if i pull one off of here it's going to want to lift this side up so if i pull one off of here it's going to weigh this side back down let me go with a single here. Now, it didn't say anything about, like, keeping your hand on the board, like if I keep down pressure. But I'm assuming that's an okay move. I'm going to keep going here. And let's see now. Kind of any way, any direction I can go now. It looks pretty level. Let's look underneath the board, huh? So you can kind of see where I'm at. Look at that. So you want to see from that angle and see what happens and how far it tilts. Let me take off. I'm doing this double here. It's going to be really risky. It's going to go pretty far. Let me see. Too far. So I can't do that one yet. But let me pull one off this back side. Ooh, it's going more and more now hmm I could see this be really challenging I'm gonna pull a big or bigger one off I thought that would be safe look underneath there huh let's just say where that little cork ball 
were just barely hanging on. See that? You can see the finish of the board too. Let me come back out now and come back up again. I think you get it. And we'll see how far I can go. Alright, so let me get this straight here now. Heavier here, weighing this down. So if I lift here, it should go that way. So if I lift here, it should come on this angle. Let me see. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to take a big one off this area here just to see. It's kind of in the close to the center. Cap okay, still good. So if I pull one off of here, should balance back. And let me get another closer to the center one. Uh, did you see that? So I messed up. Well, I got pretty far though. What do you think of this game? Pretty cool? Yes. Bombaleo. If you played this game, you know, leave a comment below. There, I got all my pieces. A few fell off the table, so I'll have to grab those. But I think overall, you get a good concept of the game. Looks like it's going to be fun with the group. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And again, if you want to see more games, especially games like this, check that description below or search our channel. Ooh, look at that. It almost fits perfectly there. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching! And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!